Is it a sculpture? A vortex? A portal to another dimension? Nope, it's my latest concrete creation and it's about to light up your table, literally. In this video, I'll take you from the 3D printed mold to the final pour and show you how I turned this idea into a bold centerpiece that brings both the heat and the style. The goal of this project was to build a sculptural tabletop fire feature that's as functional as it is eye-catching. I wanted something compact enough to sit on a table, but bold enough to spark a conversation. The core design challenge was to make a smooth organic twist that could house a standard fire gel can and still feel smooth and refined. This isn't just a tabletop fire feature, it's a tabletop centerpiece. Welcome back to Timber West Design, where we talk timber, shade structures, and outdoor living. Here are the supplies you're going to need for this project. Some cementol cement mix, a scale to weigh out the water to cementol, a way to mix it. I love this drill mixer. You need a mold. I'll have the files on my website for that. Some mold release. You'll need some primer, some paint, some sandpaper, some spot putty. And then when it's all done, you need a fire source. So I like this uh, gel fuel, and then you'll need some of these little fire stones. I'll have links to all this in the description. Here's the design I came up with. Uh, I like this quarter twist. Uh, it just looks sharp with these sharp edges. So we're gonna make two molds from this. We're gonna make a top mold, which is uh, this section, and then we're gonna make the main body, which is this section. They'll bolt together here. This will be the upside down one we pour it. Light blue represents the concrete. And this will be a simple project for the 3D printer. But uh, let's send it to the printer now. It's always gratifying to watch the digital file turn into something real. 3D printer is hard at work and it's almost done. This is a pretty simple file. Just this section and this section that goes together like so. And it's going to look like that kind of shape when it's done. When I drew this up with the taper and the twist, I thought this probably could twist off the mold, but then I printed it and I was like, nah, I'm not so sure about that. So I cut it, I have a split in here so I can like help spread it open. So let's mold release these now. We'll bolt them together and we'll mix some concrete. Okay, here we go. Concrete's ready to pour, filling in the mold. I like going maybe just slightly over and then tooling it a little bit to flatten it when it dries or when it sets up. So I think that looks good. And then I like to also just kind of work this and tap the mold, make sure it's all dispersed and helps a little bit with the air. Okay, so I'm a little high. Like I say, I'll, I'll let it set up a little bit and I'll come in with the trowel just blend it off, tool it off a bit, get it nice and flat. And looking forward to seeing this. So we'll give it a few hours and then we'll give it a pull. Quality sleep is the foundation of our health. It influences how we think, feel, and perform. When we sleep well, we enjoy more energy and focus, stronger immune system, improved mood and mental clarity, greater resilience to stress. Imagine sleeping like a baby every night. Think what your life would be like if you could sleep deeper, stay asleep longer, and wake up feeling fully refreshed and rejuvenated every day. With Newcom's proven sleep protocol, you can enjoy the best sleep of your life with ease. It's been three hours. Uh, it's starting to cool down a little bit when the chemical reaction happens. That's called an exotherm, and it gets pretty warm. You can still touch it, but it gets warm. So you want that exotherm to cool off before we pull. So let's pop this, and this one should, oh yeah, this is really good draft. That one pulled very nice, very clean. Oh, I'm loving that. Okay, now we're gonna go with this one. This is gonna be trickier, like I mentioned. I might have to break this to get it off. If I did this again, I'd probably split it this way, just do two halves, but I was trying to do something new. And sometimes when you try new things, it doesn't work. So that's okay. And we learn from it and we move on to the next project from what we've learned. So I'm just gonna break it. Let's just break it. Well, this is even harder than I thought. I'm gonna get some gloves on before I break this too far. I'm gonna get my hands hurt. Okay, got the gloves on.
<laughs> this is not happy. There we go. That's going in the garbage. I'll fix that file. So, I love these quarter twists. This looks really, really good. We're gonna give it some little bit of time to dry out. There's very little touch up on this to do. We'll just clean it up a little bit, get it ready for prime and paint it. I've let this dry a couple of days. Um, you know, there's not much that needs to be done. The parting line here, so I'm just gonna get a little sandpaper, just kinda hit a few spots. I purposely left all these edges sharp. I wanted a nice crisp line on all of this, so I'm just gonna just barely touch it, just make sure there's nothing abnormal, but I want nice crisp lines. On some previous projects, I would have put a nice fillet on this, but I, I like how this looks just crisp and sharp. So I'm gonna touch this up, just hit a couple little spots, and I'll throw it in the booth, and we'll throw some primer on this thing and see how it looks. So we're in the spray booth ready to paint. So what I'd like to do is do it just kind of a light coat to start, just cover. This is a building primer, so with paint, I want to go very few light coats. With primer, once I get this first coat on, I kind of load it, do many heavy coats. This is a really nice finish. I have very few voids, so it, honestly, it's not going to take a ton of uh, coats. I'll just hit the inside a little bit. Okay, so I'll give that a few minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and do one to two heavier coats. A little bit of spot putty, and now we're back in the booth for the top coat spray. So we're just gonna start with just a light, light layer. You don't want it to run, so I just like a first light, go around, just hit everything, and then we're gonna start adding layers. So I like multiple light layers instead of trying to load it on and potentially get any runs. So just a little bit like that. And then a little bit in the inside. Okay, I'm gonna let that flash off for just a few minutes and then it's time for the next coat and then probably a third coat and then we'll see how it looks. So now it's time to lay on some paint. So I'm gonna really Put a decent layer on here. And you can see how it's really starting to cover nicely. Just about that much on there. It gives it a nice, uh, nice look. So most likely I'll let this, uh, this will take a little bit longer to dry than the first coat. And then I'm gonna come back with a third coat about this heavy. And that should finish it off. The paint job's dry. I am super happy with how this turned out. I love this color. I love the lines and how they just really pop, these sharp edges. So here's our next step. We're gonna put in this gel fuel and we're gonna stick it in here and I'm gonna put some of these uh, fire stones around it. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the label off of this. So I have one with the label already off and then we'll just start putting these stones in here. Filling this all up. Actually, we can just probably just dump them in. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's take the lid off and let's light it. So this gel fuel, I really like this. It's gonna take a second to kind of get going, but it'll, the flame will be up to here. It has some salt in the uh, in the mix, so it kind of pops and crackles a little bit. And this is just a nice, cozy little tabletop fire feature that I think you're gonna like. If you like this video and you wanna see more, like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to have you for future videos. I have some fun projects coming up. My digital files are available on my website at timberwestdesign.com. And we'll see you next time.